hello guys welcome to our new tutorial uh, in this video we are going to develop uh, an online boating portal mm, we will be using uh, PHP and MySQL in this video so what we are gonna do is we will have two candidates uh, possibly Donald Trump and Donald Trump and Kamala Harris and what we're gonna do we're gonna provide a vote button for each of them and on clicking that vote button it counts as one vote All right so without wasting any time let's start our task so first before starting the coding let's prepare our database uh, in order to store the votes so let me create a new database uh, I'll name it voting inside this database I'm going to create a new table which will be votes there will be ID candidate and vote count ID will be primary and auto increment candidate will be bar car and vote count will be integer right and uh, by default it will be zero okay so we have our table ready now let's insert some rows here so let me write here Trump and Harris so we have now two rows right both vote counts are zero for now okay we're done with the database part let's now uh, let's now prepare our HTML right so talking about the source code uh, you might already know that we I provided uh, a link in the video description uh, from where you can access all the source code okay let's create our HTML view in order to in order to achieve this voting portal right we'll call it online voting online voting system let's call it system and then I will need to, I'm going to use bootstrap to design this so let me include bootstrap CSS Okay, I've included the bootstrap CSS, so now I can use bootstrap classes. I'll make a container. Inside the container, I'll make a row and it will be justify content centered so that uh, my content will be on the center of the screen. I'll make it a col md6 because I don't want to stretch it full width. And I'll make use of a card right this is these are all after bootstrap classes inside card there will be card body and in card body uh, I'll put a title over here online voting system I again will have a row okay and uh, cool and this six I'll have two cold MD6 each for one candidate okay let me finish one and I will need a form because I'll submit it when clicked on the button let's wrap it with a figure I want a image of Donald Trump which I already have ready here okay let's see mm, fine uh, this is because I need to make it give it a class name of w-100 which means width 100 okay looks good and now after image I'll need to have the button in order to vote which should be inside the form button class is equals to btn btn danger this is because um, Donald Trump is from Republican Party so maybe I'll use a Republic class over here in order to okay I may not need this class because he's from Republican Party and it is normally denoted by red color right so I'm using danger here for the red color with 100 and I will say here vote for Trump let's see yeah that's good and 
because I'll be submitting through this button so I need to provide it a name and value name will be candidate and value will be Trump just uh, let me remind you this values should be equal to the value that we have stored in the database this is what we are using uh, in order to update the vote afterwards right so now in the second column I'll need the photo of Kamala Harris here will be Harris not vote for Trump vote for Harris and it won't be danger it will be primary because it is denoted by blue color because she is from a Democrat right she is representing Democrat okay looks good now I need to add some CSS to make it look better so let's start the CSS um, starting from the body and the uh, background color of maybe black one know why this is coming okay okay cool so now let's continue the CSS for h1 uh, text align center I want this in center okay and then margin bottom I want some margin over here font weight bold cool uh, also I want some space in the top right nice so now let's move on to the figure for figure what I want is I don't want margin at the bottom because uh, figure will get automatic margin so I want to join this photo and button together and you know because of the border radius of this button it's not looking quite nice so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the border radius for button oh, maybe because this is provided by bootstrap I may need to overwrite it yeah it's working okay next up uh, I'm gonna use box arrow maybe it will make it look better it will be black color with opacity 0.5 I don't know let's keep it like this and after this uh, let's move on to votes votes vote count okay for vote count I've not added the HTML let's add the HTML part so after the button we'll create a class ports which will have a top margin and it top margin and it will be text as center inside this there will be div with the class vote count and here we will show vote count suppose for now it's 46 span class is equals to vote label and I'll write it votes let's see oh, I did for only the Kamala Harris I need the same thing for Trump as well cool now I can provide the CSS right let's move on to here move let's move let's move okay here font to it will be bold for this 46 yeah and font size will also be somewhere around 44 px cool looking good and then line height would be 1 am I don't want much space between these two okay cool for boot level mm, I need to I want to make it a bit lighter in color 
yeah cool that's what i wanted okay looks good now so let me go through it mm, maybe i need to provide some padding here ex5 py2 let's see yeah maybe it looks good let me do the same for another column cool it looks good now okay our design is ready guys mm, do you think this space is too much let me check okay this is because of the h1 oh this margin button maybe i can reduce that margin bottom to 40 px okay it's fine so now let's add the php code okay so because we are going to you know insert save the vote count in database we need to what we need to do is we need to create a connection to the database database connection we will need host that is local host we will need user which is root we will need password which is empty we will need db name which is voting that we have created previously right so i'll make a connection connection equals new mysqli with host user password and db name so connection is established in case the connection couldn't be established i'll get a connect error over here so that i can provide a proper message connection failed failed with a proper message right con connect error i'll show the error and then die so this is the connection part now i need to handle voting right and then finally i need to fetch current voting vote results okay let's do it the current vote results first results equals i'm gonna i'm gonna execute a query select asterisk from votes okay and then I'm gonna fetch all as my SQLI as soak. Then after everything is done, I need to uh, close the TV connection. Well, this shouldn't show an error. Okay, there's no an error. So I've already I've already you know fetched the current results which I'm going to show here. All right, current voting is both vote counts are zero, right? so here needs to be zero which i already have in results and let's go let's go and update it in place of 46 let me do it once in case of both 46 i'll update it once php equal dollar results zero vote count but here it needs to be one index okay see it's working fine let me update here let me add uh, three votes for trump and two votes for harish see it's working fine okay so only thing now remaining is when i vote for trump this should be incremented by one and when i vote for harris this should be incremented by one and the same should be reflected in the database column as well okay we're gonna do that here so now what we need to do we need to catch uh, if there is some value in the post because when we click this button okay I'm missing something here what about here yeah I'm missing here as well I need to give it type equals submit so that this on clicking this this will submit this form for this button as well type equals submit now it should work okay so what I need to do here is I need to catch if there is something in dollar underscore post candidate if there is something I'll catch it in candidate equals post candidate 
and then I'll prepare this query right on prepare I'll use a prepared statement update sorry update votes set vote count equals vote count plus one I need to add it by one right where candidate equals what now I'll bind the candidate value stmt bind param it will be string and candidate oh my god candidate then I'll execute the command well it should work now let's see let's refresh this page current is 3 and is 2 when I vote for Aries it should be 3 3 yeah when I vote for this 4 3 5 3 let's again vote 6 3 4 3 yeah it's working fine since we have stored the values in the database so if I open this link from any other browser or any other system it will also show the same result right so if I vote here and make it 7 make it 5 7 5 and I refresh here it will be 7 5 okay let me refresh it this way yeah it's working now so it's working great hope you like this video uh, as I already said the source code for this uh, video is uh, provided in the link description below you can always go and check out the codes uh, if you have any problems or if you have any confusions please let me know in the comment section below uh, I'll, I'll reply to all of your uh, questions and queries so what I want you want you to do is uh, this is just a basic demo of online voting system. Uh, you may want uh, a single user to vote just once. So in that case, you need to maintain a user database and uh, uh, and implement the user authentication without logging in. You couldn't uh, uh, vote. So there are a lot of uh, spaces for improvement, but this this is just for know educational purpose and hope you liked what I wanted to teach you this much for today uh, cheers guys